Now he has six football world championships, was selected to the Pro Bowl nine times, and was the head coach for three NFL teams and a member of the Packers and NFL's Hall of Fame. Now Packer great Forrest Gregg can add author to his list. Uh, he is, uh, has a new book, and he's in our studio right now. It's called Winning in the Trenches. And Mr. Gregg, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Doug, it's my pleasure. An absolute pleasure to have you here. Here is the book, Winning in the Trenches. Why did you decide to write a book now? I don't really know. You don't really know? <laughs> No, I, I contemplated about, about writing a book for a long time, and I said, I'll never write one unless I think I've got something to say that uh, people are interested in. Well, and I had this young friend down in Dallas uh -huh. who, that played for me at uh, SMU uh, named Greg Ziegler. And Greg kept asking me, Coach, when are you going to write your book? And I said, <laughs> well, I said, uh, Greg, I don't know that I am. I don't know that I've got anything to say that people would be interested in hearing. He said, oh, no, you're wrong. He said, you need to write a book. So finally I, I got together with uh, uh, Andrew O'Toole and uh, we wrote this together. Well, that's great. And uh, got it going. Oh, I tell you, I, I've read excerpts from the book, and uh, you do have a lot to say. And I, I found some of the stories super fascinating and and what I'd, I'd like you to recall for me is uh, it was your first season with the Packers and you were facing uh, uh, up against uh, Big Daddy Lipscomb, Lipscomb yes and, and he gave you kind of a lesson that day didn't he <laughs> he, <certainly did. laughs> he taught me there's obligations to hold him <laughs> and you were holding him a lot during that yeah, game yes, right I, absolutely I was doing a great job of holding Lou Remkes who was the offensive line coach was the guy who said, uh, you, if you're not prepared to hold, you can't play in this league. <laughs> so uh, I took that to heart, mm -hmm. and I figured that I could hold Big Daddy. There was a lot to him to hold. <laughs> he so lived he, up to his name then? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. He, he was a big man, and uh, probably, probably the, the biggest man in the league at that time. And he told me, he said, uh, Forrest, he said, uh, look, he said, if you don't hold me, anymore. He said, I won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's to put it bluntly, right. Yeah. He got my attention anyway. I now, guess. did you hold him after that? Oh, no. <laughs> no, sir, Mr. Lipscomb, no. That's awesome. That's awesome. Just uh, one of many stories. Um, of course, uh, you were coached by, uh, by Vince Lombardi. He came in and, and now your team was interesting because you had all the great names on the, on, on the Packard uh, team. Uh, but it took Vince really to come in and get you guys together as a team. Yeah, that's kind of uh, the way it was. We had some great football players on that team, and uh, then uh, they just needed some direction. And he certainly gave us direction and motivated us to play hard. And uh, I found that great story that you had. Um, now, you, you were actually uh, uh, drafted and had to miss a year of football. And after you came back, the draft was still stealing some players from, from Vince Lombardi's team and the Packers. And he actually made a big call to, uh, well, the man at the top, didn't he? Yes, he did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he call, called the President of the United States. <laughs> said, we need a little help. <laughs> yeah. And actually, John Kennedy did give him some help. Yes, he did. Helped yeah, out on those yeah. players to keep yeah, him from getting drafted. He let Horn and Boyd Dollar come back to... Uh, to play on the weekend. Oh, just uh, so many stories uh, that you have in this book. And you're doing a book signing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, here pro are the shop. times. Yeah. Uh, Packer Pro Shop, which is a fun spot. That's going to be today uh, from 2.30 to 4. And uh, Bay Park Square at uh, Shopco. That's from uh, 6.30 to 8.30. Mr. Gregg, a pleasure meeting you. Doug, thank you so much.